Hi everyone, so today we're going to get, look at another explicit scheme to solve this um, hyperbolic equation. Okay, this is a one type of wave equation. So, example of one, the other explicit method, explicit numerical method is the lex van method. Okay, lex van is second order accuracy. Should be it should be better than the downwind and the upwind scheme that we have looked at in the previous video. Okay, so to derive this lex van formula, we need to consider partial over partial x u m n one over h delta x u m n. Okay, this is what we need to consider. But um, just recall, so recall our first video on hyperbolic, where we have written like this exponent, k, okay, partial over partial t, u m n. Okay, where we know that uh, this u t operator depend on um, l, and we also know that the u x we have the d operator. Okay, so what we do here now, this thing, okay, I can write that as exponent, okay, okay, now what is, what is ut? So ut equals to negative a u x, so I have k negative a u x, okay. Now, this negative a u x, I can also um, write this as exponent negative k a, which is uh, partial over partial x. Okay, you, this whole thing here, you need to uh, remember this has um, u m n. Okay, now, now. I can, uh, this partial over partial x u m here operates on my t equation. Consider here now. So partial over partial x u m n is equal to this thing. So we can write exponent negative k a, which is my 1 over h delta x u m n. Okay, now expanding this in terms of Taylor series. So we have, let's, oops, let's, um, let's look at it. So first we need to change 1 over k over h equals to a. So we have a negative P A delta X U M N. Now expanding negative P A, whatever U M. So we have, we can have here one minus P A delta X plus half P A squared delta X squared. This whole thing U M N. Okay, now continuing our um, equation here, where we just multiply the um inside, we have umn minus pa delta x umn plus half p squared e squared delta x squared umn. Now, there are some terms, but we are not going to consider this expansion of Taylor series up to that term. This is what we're going to consider. Now, we call that delta x u m n can be written by the uh, central difference u m plus 1 n minus u m minus 1 n over 2. And similarly, for delta x squared u m n is given by u m minus 1 n minus 2 u m n plus 
Okay, minus 2u plus u m plus 1 n. Okay, so what happened here? So now what we're going to do is uh, substitute. Substitute this value inside here. Okay, so that will give me u m n plus 1 equals to u m n minus p a. Now delta x u m is given by this. U m plus 1 n minus u m minus 1 n over 2 plus half of half of p squared e squared what is delta x squared u m which is this one u m minus 1 n minus 2 u m n plus u m plus 1 n there you go so we have this equation now simplifying this so collect the common terms such as this one this one okay which is 2 P squared is squared, so we have U M N plus one. There's another um, term here involving, so we have one over two P A. Okay, take out half P A. Okay, half P A for pot negative negative positive. So we take U M minus one. Okay, we want to take out u m minus 1 n. So we have 1, which is 1 plus, now for this term here, it's another term. So we have p a, which is p a times p a p squared, a times a a squared. Okay, this is for u m minus 1. Now for this term here, we have plus 1 minus p squared a squared 2 and 2 cancels out here so that will leave me with u m n minus half p a for the m plus 1 which is similar u m plus 1 n okay let's check the equation here it plus or minus sign here so we have 1 minus sine minus p a so negative times negative which is negative 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 will be positive sign here okay so this is the lex van equation this whole thing here that's how you derive the lex van scheme okay that's all thank you